Welcome to this episode of Catching Up With Your Osaka Stationery. So, so casual. casual. Happy second week, third week of Happy January. Happy Through the first month. Is it January? I don't know. <laughs> I hope everyone is well at home. We have had a great last week at Yoseka. It's been very busy here. Um, personally, uh, I was working on lots of YouTube videos last mm -hmm. week and Ashley and I were also preparing for the store to reopen yeah. again last week and we reopened the store in Greenpoint and that was great. Um, got to see a lot of people that we haven't seen in a while. Mm -hmm. We got a lot of visitors. Yes, so we nice. did. We did. Um, <laughs> I, love, I love Wednesday because like on a typical Wednesday, it's the first first week, the first day of the week that we're open at the mm -hmm. store, and there's always like a burst of people at one o'clock exactly mm -hmm. on Wednesday. And last week, it was our first day of the week open and the first week of the year open. Mm -hmm. So there were really a lot of people that had been waiting to come in. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so I love that burst of energy and seeing everybody and all these eager stationary lovers ready to shop stationary. Yeah. Um, and that was really fun last week. I spent quite a lot of time working on a couple of YouTube videos. We were working on our new fountain pen inks explained yes. video. Yeah, you went very into depth. Yeah. Inks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I had a lot of fun working on that one. I, it's 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 like explaining fountain pen inks to a beginner essentially mm -hmm. um, and I think it was a topic that meant a lot to me because I spent a lot of time in the store talking to people about inks and like how to find an ink and things like that so I thought it would be a really good idea for a YouTube video so I hope you all enjoy that. Would you recommend the video to be watched even if you are kind of familiar with the fountain pen inks? You kind of know the basics, but like... Yeah! I, I, you know what? I think that I thought of it as like a beginner video for somebody who really knew nothing about fountain pen inks, but then like reading through people's comments, I realized that even if you're not new to fountain pen inks, um, you might not know like the actual differences between like shading and shimmering and sheening, and mm -hmm. so I do talk about that in the video, and then... For anybody who's like really into paper and fountain pens in general, I do some experimentation and mm -hmm. yeah, so I, I have some interesting findings that I reported in the videos too, and I don't want to spoil them, so be sure to watch the yeah, find yeah, out. Watch it. And watch also from blog post. So if you don't want to watch the YouTube video, you can just read the blog post for the answers. Nice. Also new to YouTube last week, we did an unboxing for the Hokuro dip pens, mm -hmm. which I really had a lot of fun with too. I'm, I'm enjoying like kind of doing these little experiments um, yeah. on YouTube and I hope you all have been seeing that I really have been having fun with the YouTube <laughs> videos. So yeah. um, thank you for the encouraging comments also. I love reading them. <laughs> I wrote in a note to someone, I think the Hokuros are Daisy's new favorite dip. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I, I'm, a, I'm blown away by the feed. I know the feeds are sold out, everyone. <laughs> We've got so many comments like the feeds are sold out. Where are the feeds? The feeds are sold out, but we're definitely going to bring them back. So sign up for those restock notifications. What about you? What are you What are you working on? What have you been working on? Yeah, I worked on um, adding a lot of new things to our website. So Yay! I think... That's true, I a lot will, of these. Yeah. yeah, a lot of these. And I'm really excited about some of them. I mean, you can see there's like so much color happening on yes, the table. Yes, yes. So maybe I'll just get right into it. Okay, <laughs> let's do it, let's do it. Yeah, first up we have the Delphonics Mini Tote Keychains, which we've seen before. They're not brand new. They're not brand new. Yeah. We had the striped one before, yeah. but they actually have so many colors. <laughs> I feel like I'm like about to go shopping with all of these shopping bags, but shopping I don't know what I would like, be able to. <laughs> like dimes and quarters? Yeah. Like <laughs> Going on a little scavenger hunt for like shells on the beach with these or something. I'm just like shopping for your spare nibs. Mm -hmm. Shopping oh for my your God. mini clips. That's so true. Yeah. You could get some, you could get quite some things with uh, with these at Yoseka. It's not, true. Not at like a grocery. Normal place. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, 
They're very cute. In, yeah. in case you're you are new to them, they have a little nice uh, keychain clasp, and they are functional. You can store things. Cute inside. and functional. Very cute and functional. You get some pockets. I love these little useful. front pockets. Yeah, they're very useful. Yeah, that's the Delphonics mini tote. So mini fun. Mini keychain tote. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're colors of the rainbow, and they're like canvas material for anybody who's mm -hmm. wondering. Mm -hmm. So they are like a thick cotton type of material. Um, probably machine washable, I would assume. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah right? I think so. Yeah, but these colors look like they would bleed. <gasps> yeah. Oh, you're so. right. Maybe. Okay. Be careful. Be careful. Hand wash. Hand wash. Spot clean. Spot clean. Yeah. The other thing that I was very excited to finally add are new Mizushima clear stamps. And I love all of their little, like, they have a lot of patterns because, like, Mizushima comes from, like, dot. Like, that's where the name comes from in mm -hmm. Japanese. They redid the packaging. It's all paper packaging now. And the acrylic blocks come separately. There's a small and large acrylic block. You know, if you're, if you're trying to place multiple designs on one block to stamp, the big one's pretty good. Mm -hmm. If you're just doing like one stamp at a time or one or two, small one's probably good enough. Mm -hmm. And in the pocket designs, they kept a lot of their previous designs. Like the, the flowers are very classic. We've seen the houses before. Mm -hmm. They're such cute designs. They are cute. I love their um their style. Yeah. Like their illustration style. Is they're really they're cute. very like hand drawn. Yes. Like, like handmade type yeah. quality to Like it. they look like doodles almost. Yeah, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Definitely adds to the charm. And then to go along with their like revamp in packaging, they released a whole other line of clear stamps. Oh, so these are like the designs are new. Yeah, these are oh, like completely, completely okay. new. I see. And these are called log clear oh. stamps. And the theme of these are very like tracking, mm -hmm. like planner, habit tracking. Mm. So. These I was really excited for because, you know, beginning of the year, I know everyone's looking to set up their like bullet journal planners. And yes. So these are really good for them. They've got some month titles, some of the days of the month, end of the week, if you're into that. And, and they then, look handwritten too, like yeah. the, the font. There's, yeah. There's like a couple different designs and some are like handwritten, some are really like printed, like mm. style. Yeah. Which is really nice that they take into account. You have your own aesthetics? Yes, yes, yes. They give you some choices. Yes. Clear stamps. There's like 20 of them There's on so here. There are so in many here. to choose from. Yeah, these have like 20 in them, and I love these little emoji yeah, type things. Yeah, they're so cute. I like this. I like both of these packs because they're so like, there's. there's a, there's a design for everything, mm -hmm, every occasion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. You, I don't know when you're using the royalty one, but it's there if you need When you it. feel like you need a pampering, a pampered <laughs> day or something, you're yeah. like, I want to be royalty. Treat me like royalty. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so those are the Mizushima clear stamps. So cute. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wow. What else is yeah. new, Ashley? We have, I mean, this is very interesting. Oh. <laughs> it's a little out of frame, but I just keep looking at it. Um, these are the new Koiko Supras. I mean, they're not like super, super new, but we just added these and they are, let me tell you, so cool. <laughs> they're heavy. They are heavy. Yeah. They have like a good weight to them. That one's the brass one. This is the stainless steel and this one is their fire blue. I love the fire blue. Yeah. It's so cool. The like rainbow yeah. quality it has. Yeah, it's and they're cool. all unique. Mm -hmm. What is cool about the Supra, Ashley? Weren't you telling me something cool about Oh that? yeah. <laughs> I must show you. Basically, there's a lot of different parts to this pen that unscrew. So you have the cap and it looks really similar to a lily foot, right? You unscrew it, it's got this larger nib on it, which... That looks like a massive nib, because I'm used to nib. seeing the regular Kaweco nib that's mm -hmm. like much smaller. Yes, so this is much bigger. Oh wow. So you can't switch it with any of the other ones. This is, it's, it's got its own larger nib. Oh, okay. But then, you when you, you can screw off the back, and you can screw off the section. 
So you can take out this whole entire oh, part that is of cool. the pen and just set it aside, put the back back on after you take the cartridge out, of course. <laughs> and it will be like your own little beefy lily put. Beefy lily put. Isn't that so That's funny? so true. It's so cool. Yeah. And then if oh, you want like to post yeah. it like the lily put, that works the same. Yeah. So I... <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> That's really cool, and I feel like it's pro like realistically speaking, the lily put's really cute, but it's probably not that comfortable to write with because mm -hmm. of its size. But this one is, it's got a little more room for the grip mm -hmm. and for you to for to balance in your hand. But if yeah. you did want to bring it out with you, you could take that middle section out, mm -hmm. which is cool. Um, and it would probably fit the longer Kaweco converter, which I like. Yes. Yeah. When, when you have the section in there, it can fit the whole standard converter, which I know a lot of people are always like, I can't use things in my lily put. Well, now this is, you have the full size yes. converter in there. Yeah, that's and great. Then this is the Supra. This is the Supra. So the Supra lily put. <laughs> Supra lily put. <laughs> um, okay, very cool. Yeah. yeah and since we're cool. on this pen tray, we might as well talk about what else is on this pen tray here. And these little guys are Penco bullet pens in brass. And so we have Penco bullet ballpoint pens in um, resin bodies in mm -hmm. lots of different colors. These ones here are solid brass, so they're actually really heavy. And they come with this uh, silver coating that Ashley's holding, holding and this matte black coating. And then there's also a solid brass coating as well. This is the box that they come in. And so super, super cute. Yeah. This is the brass one. Ooh. Yeah. Wow, that looks so pretty it's fancy. these three colors, silver, black, matte black, and brass. Bonus Just like brass. the Supra, like they're really heavy because they are made of these metal materials. Mm -hmm. Um so they feel really sturdy too. Um and yeah. That is nice. Yeah, and they're kind of like the same silhouette as the Supras, which is kind of funny. Like yeah, we're just adding all these theme. like mini round pens this week. <laughs> <laughs> They're so, so cute. They're so cute. Yeah, they look great together. Mm -hmm. They're family. They're family. That's mm -hmm. great. Going over to your side of the table, we added lots we of these. stamps. We have lots of stamps. These are new from really Shashihata. cute stamps. And these are rotating decoration stamps. So we've had some Shachihata. Chachi Hata. <laughs> you always I always that saying. always trips me up. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Chachi Hata. It's a mouthful. <laughs> Rotating stamps, but these are a little different. I feel like these are really easy to see the designs. Mm, yeah. But these are not pre-inked rotating stamps. You have to stamp them yourself like That's a right. regular stamp pad yeah so uh, there's a fruit one or like a food one there's like um decoration decorations banner. and sort of like motifs and then this one is plants mm. um and then what's the one that you're holding i'm holding the cats one. Oh my god see the cats stretching and you just ink it up like a regular stamp and bam you got all those cats so cute. on your page. Oh so my cute. god! Wait, do the legs one? There's there's, there's one, one that's just the lower half of the the cat's body, just the legs. It's so <laughs> funny. <laughs> Bam! Those are some cat <gasps> wow, legs. Wow, those are really good stamp imprints too, yeah. Ashley. You're very good. At this. Oh, thank you. I mean, <laughs> the stamp is doing all the work. <laughs> I'm just I'm just having fun. <laughs> Here are the Heads. The heads! Oh my god! It looks like floating heads and they're floating like, half legs. They're like perching on top of something. So we have your stamp. You could them. like draw something in between. That would be so you can cute. Can make them squiggly. Oh my god! <laughs> that would be so good. That is so. Good. Wow! I love that. <laughs> yeah, you get so many designs for like these cats. Yeah, so the cats cute. one is really good. I love the fruit one too. Mm -hmm. Like I love these little, I love these little fruits. I love the apples and the little cherries. Mm -hmm. And then like the cafe one is really cute for mm -hmm. when you have a cafe date with somebody. Yeah, I and on 
And on here, I like that they show you can make like gradient <gasps> designs. Oh, yeah. Which you wouldn't be able to do before since the other ones were pre inked. So, That's true. So you can use really? like your sormame with these yeah. and really color in like an individual fruit. Mm -hmm. I could see. I could see someone doing that all day. <laughs> okay. um, all right, so those are from Shachihata. Mm -hmm. And then what also else? new in the world of adorable rubber stamps are these new Beverly My Companion stamp sets. And they're, they've done a collaboration with Mizutama for mm -hmm. these Stamp set. These are sets of nine little miniature stamps, and you can see they really fit into just there. The, it's out. Yeah. yeah, they fit into the palm of my hand here, and they feature like illustrations by Mizutama. The Mizutama designs are really round with cute faces and the iconic like little tongue sticking out design mm, on each of them. So cute. So cute. And the little case makes it so like convenient to yeah. carry around and like it really can be your companion stamp. <laughs> yeah, and I, they're that size um, so that they can really fit into just like um, on the illustration here and if you can see on the packaging, um, they're made to really fit into like the monthly squares of mm. a planner format. So um, if you are just looking for a little stamp to um, indicate you have like a coffee date with someone or like this was your lunch You can stamp this into like your weekly vertical mm -hmm. or your monthly little square And that's why they're so miniature like this so you yeah. can so you can fit them into your little planners um, And write something next to them if you wanted to also new this week um, Not on the table here because it's more of a coming soon item are <laughs> <laughs> we have um, really exciting new inks that are coming from the Sailor Yurameku collection. We have five new colors that have been introduced in the Yurameku second edition. And for anybody who doesn't know, uh, Sailor released Yurameku inks like end of the year in 2021 and they're sort of like these color changing inks. The first collection changed color depending on what paper you were using and this second collection changes color depending on what paper you're using but also they work kind of like iron gall ink which I talk oh. about in my inks video but if anybody hasn't watched it yet, iron gall inks change color over time as they dry. So um, these are sort of like iron gall inks in that when they first, when they're wet and you're first writing with them, they're one color, and then in the seconds after as they're drying, they turn into another color. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how they did that. It's really, really cool. Very cool. Yeah, and some of the colors are so different, the way they go on and the way they dry, and I, mm -hmm. I just can't wait to see, like, for myself. Yeah, I, yeah. I can't wait to use them. Yeah. I'm like, Please. <laughs> yeah, we're all really excited. Like I just saw Amy today and she's like, I, can't, I'm, I need to leave one of my pens empty to ink up with your <laughs> ink. <laughs> so. Yeah, I, I think we're also also excited for this edition because the first round of Yurimeku inks, so pretty, mm -hmm. but also very light. So light, you're right, yeah. you're right. And as someone who uses a lot of fine yes. pens, I yes. was like, if just a smidge darker, I would love this. And these look like they're a little bit darker. So they all they all are darker. Pretty dark. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Oh, that's so. That's a good point. Yeah, Very that's excited. a good point. Um, so those are available now on the website, uh, but they won't arrive to us for another couple of weeks or week. Yeah, another. I don't know. Week, let's say. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I think that is about it for this week's newly added stationery. Do you have a favorite? Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, wait, that's really hard. Oh. Well, because I feel like okay. I'm very attached to a lot of these. Like, I, I feel like the Mizushima ones I really, like, spent a lot of time with. Yes, but you did. Honestly, <laughs> honestly, I'm really, like, the Supra is, like, very cool to me. That's so funny because that's not really, like, your style either, it's typically. It's not. It's yeah. really not. So, like, I don't know. I don't know if I'll really be, but I like the idea of having this super beefy tiny pen. Yeah. It reminds me of when um, you did the video with CY mm -hmm. and he brought out one of his really ginormous, like small pens. The Toma, the yeah. Toma, yeah. yeah. It, it kind of gives me those vibes. Mm. So 
I might have to choose the Supra. Oh, okay. And you can use it as a weapon too, if anybody. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> yeah, self defense. <laughs> use it as a nunchuck. Yeah, exactly. It feels sacrilegious to swing this around. No, oh, God. Use it, use it as a delicate, delicate object. <laughs> They're sturdy if you need them to be. They're sturdy. <laughs> Very robust. <laughs> What about you, Daisy? Do you have a favorite? Mm, I mean, it has to be one of the stamps, and we have so many good stamps this week. Yeah. Um, but I think it has to be the Beverly and Mizutama uh, Planner Companion stamps. They're so cute, and um, as you know, I've been I've been looking for some new stamps for my planner. Ooh, so that's um, perfect then. Yeah. So maybe I will take this little set home with me. <laughs> <laughs> really excited. <laughs> um, yeah, so that has to be my favorite newly added stationery of the week. Very nice, very nice. Yes. Yeah, other than that, we have been busy. The store just opened mm -hmm. again, mm -hmm. so that was very fun. Did you have any exciting moments? Yeah, from the reopening, first opening of this year. Right. Well, lots of lots of exciting moments. We had a really busy last week, mm -hmm. and um, we had like a new layout in the store. Um, That's right. Yeah, yeah, you were actually there that first day that we opened and setting up like our new stamp station, which is now by the entrance of the store. Mm -hmm. um, and I like that because sometimes people come in. We have like our uh, Travelers Partner Shop stamp there. Sometimes people come in and they're like looking for that stamp, and now hopefully it's right by the. Yeah entrance right and mm -hmm. they'll be able to find it a little bit more easily and really be able to play around because that's the whole idea of our store so for anybody who is visiting you can just make an entrance and right to your left now will be our stamp stamp station um, but other than that I met a lot of people this past week in the store I know that the Philly pen show was actually happening re mm. um, this past weekend so I think there were some visitors in from out of town that were just visiting like the East Coast and maybe decided to make a short trip to New York and I actually met Kimberly um, and it's funny Kimberly um, said hi to me in the store and then the, the second thing she said was I'm a raid <laughs> Right there, I was like, okay, you're a friend. <laughs> you know, somebody That's says that. So okay. Funny. okay, you're a friend. Um, so Kimberly is a friend of Ame's, and she was visiting from California, but in town from being at the Philly Pen Show. Oh, and she actually told me a lot about pen shows in general. I don't know if you all know, but I've never been to a pen show. Yeah, me neither. Yeah, and I really want to go. And Kimberly's been to a lot of them, and she actually writes on Pen Addict's blog. Oh. Cool. Um, yeah, and she's done these pen show recaps where she sort of ranks each pen show and like grades them on a rubric. So she told me all about her opinions on different pen shows and uh, recommended that I go to. I will try and make it out to some pen shows this okay. year. Um, on you know, and I'd like to take like little day trips with Jacob too. So it's oh a good, yeah, that would be good. Yeah, it's a good thank excuse. You. So thank you so much, Kimberly, for stopping by the store and uh, saying Ami raid to me. <laughs> That is so funny. <laughs> and then telling me all about the different pen shows that you visited. I really appreciate uh, you giving me some advice on that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, and um, I hope to see you again sometime. What about you? I had, like, yeah, we were pretty busy. I had a really fun moment with this kid. I mean, this kid. Kid. Who, yeah, I know. This is like not your typical customer friend of the week. But um, I won't say their name because child. But it was the most wholesome <laughs> was interaction. Was this like a three-year-old? Like, no, very much not a three-year-old. Like, I... Ashley's, um, Ashley's uh, customer friend of the week is like a toddler. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> Couldn't even speak to me. <laughs> but no, um... This, this kid was like so sweet to talk to Aww. and um, they were a big fan of One Piece. And oh. you know, we just had the One Piece Hobonichi collaboration. Yeah. So we had a bunch of those items out in the store and I like could hear them going around kind of being like, oh, they have this one. This is also One Piece. Like, <gasps> this character, oh, that's Luffy. Like, and oh I was like, God. oh, okay. And then they came over to 
by the letter, the horizontal letter pad. Oh, the one with the eyes? Yeah. yeah. And um, he was naming off the different characters to me. Wow. And then I was like, what's your favorite character? And I didn't have the oh, heart no. to say that I have not watched more than like two episodes oh, of Oh no, you played along? I did, that's I did. Good, well, because good. I do kind of know a little yeah. bit about the characters. Um, and then we got into talking about Chopper. Because <gasps> Chopper is like, you know, such That's your cute favorite character. Your favorite yeah, character? so one yeah. of my favorites. And um, I just forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> and and um, my cousin actually has a chopper hat. And when I mentioned it, this kid just lost it. Was Aww. like, I have a chopper hat too. Aww. That is so cool. So we had this so bonding cute. moment. That's of, so wholesome. We we both have these chopper hats. Like it was it was really really nice to have someone that was equally as excited about these like just pieces of paper and you know. like the characters on these pieces of paper yeah yeah, yeah. so it was just so nice to see Aww. the the light the joy light up in someone's eyes that's so sweet things. it was so sweet Aww. most wholesome interaction wow i love that mm -hmm. i love mm -hmm. that um, well, if you love One Piece, <laughs> be sure to come to the store and talk to Ashley about it because you will make her day, <laughs> just yes. like this kid did. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> um, all right, well, I think that's about it for this episode of Catching Up. I hope you all enjoyed it and um, enjoyed our newly added stationery. Um, personally, I'm looking forward to the Yurimeku inks, which will be out next week. Mm -hmm. and and um, all of these newly added stationery, these rubber stamps, are definitely coming home with me. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know in the comments what your favorite item is this week. And thank you so much for watching. We will see you next week. Bye-bye.